Coach, Go what, what do you want Jalen to do? You, you mentioned weight with Waller. Do you want him to add weight? I mean, he's really tall, but do you want him to add more weight? Uh, it, it'll come naturally. I mean, he has such a big frame, and, and, and he burns a lot of energy at practice. You know, we have the heart monitors, and he burns the most calories out of anyone at practice. So at, at first he was wondering why does he have such a hard time ga gaining weight, but he's burning a lot of energy moving that body around. So, um, you know, he's about 220, 225 right now. So that's a really good weight for him. Uh, you know, the thing is, is it's going to be fun for Coach Lawson and those guys to see how much weight he can put on. But, you know, the main thing for him is, is just uh, g getting in football shape. Uh, knowing where to line up, how to play at our tempo, and everything else. He has a natural ability that you can't coach. Coach, do you have to, I mean, technique-wise, do you try to do anything different with him just because he's so tall and then you try to you know, work on doing this? No, you know, I, I think he has to work on the same things that every back works on. You know, we, we, we have a part of practice where we run, uh, run underneath the arches, mm -hmm. and the guy that hits the arches the most is Devin Young. You know, so I think he has the same problems that any back has. You know, uh, great running backs are able to play low and with great pad level. But it doesn't matter if you're 6'3 or five foot seven. You know, all those guys have to work on that fundamental. So that's one thing that he's continuing to work on. Obviously, pass protection for a guy that's going to come in and play as much as he is as a freshman. Has to continue to work on those things. But, man, he's a competitive kid. He hates to make mistakes and uh, uh, very smart. So the missed assignments is one thing I'm pleased with. He doesn't have a lot of missed assignments. He just continues to work on the fundamentals of being a running back. And I know you saw him before he got here, but just <clears throat> are you seeing him in, in pads every day? Or is, is it surprising to see a kid that size be that fluid? You know, you know what? I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm not as surprised when I'm standing there talking to him because I feel like I'm seven foot tall when I'm out there coaching. But uh, I've seen a couple pictures from you guys that, that make me realize how big of a kid he is. You know, he, he, he's a big kid, and, uh, you know, just, just, just it's, the sky's the limit for him if he reaches down deep and finds that passion. I, I, I told him the other day, I said, right now you're just playing off God-given ability. Once you find out how to dig down deep and you grow into a man and play this game the right way in this league, you know, the sky's the limit for what kind of football player he can be. With that said, I know it's only been, you know, 12 practices or so. What, what kind of growth have you seen from him from day one to, to today? He's a tough kid, and, and, and he's very competitive. Uh, he hates to make mistakes. He's not afraid to jump in and go with the ones, which are things that that, 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 that you don't know until a kid gets here. You know, so I've seen that just, just maturation of him just wanting to get in there and make the mistakes. You know, I've told him, you know, I don't I don't mind you making mistakes. That's how you learn. So, uh, you know, just just the fact that he's not afraid to jump in with the older guys. Uh, he takes coaching really well. He takes his teammates grabbing him and pulling him along at times. He doesn't, he doesn't fight the system. You know, uh, he's a willing learner. So that's one thing that, that you don't know until you get, get a chance to get here and coach him.